Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone I'm Muhammad Irshad Abis Bigafari And today I would like to present about the morphological based study that revealed variation among coral species Echinopora lamellosa from Lombok waters Okay, as we know, the morphological features determine how corals interact with the physical environment and with other organisms as well. And the lesser Sunda region, especially the Lombok waters, have very high biodiversity, especially for marine biodiversity, and it has not been fully refilled. Lombok water is also special because it is annually passed by the interoceanic current. We called it Arlindo or ITF. And coral bleaching in Lombok waters occurs several times from 1998, 2010, and 2016, and it all caused mass mortality of coral in West Lombok, but not in East Lombok waters. It's reported by Bakhtiar et al. 2019. So the study on coral variation in Lombok waters are interesting because variation in coral morphology can represent their post bleaching condition. As we can see here, this is the Lesser Sunda Ecoregion and this is the Lombok waters. This is the documented photograph of coral bleaching in West Lombok. And no coral bleaching found in Gili Sulat, East Lombok. So, Echinopora lamellosa, based on Bakhtiar et N. Hadi, 2019, is one uh, from several coral species that is still found and survived the 2016 coral bleaching event. So, these species can be an object of interesting study. So, we collect uh, the data in eastern and western Lombok waters. A total of 31 samples of Echinopora lamellosa from both eastern and western Lombok waters were documented and later we called the uh, coral from eastern part of Lombok waters as eastern population or GPA and the, from the western part of Lombok waters we called it western population or SEL. The data analysis the identification of morphological features we conduct ex situ using scaled photograph of coral colony and coral light. We also uh, conduct ray identification using photograph coral identification uh, based on Ferron 2000. And recorrecting color using Photoshop CS5 based on Pataman 2009. And we use coral watch chart color for color quantification with minor modification. We also conduct measurement and scaling using image G and we assess at morphological features including colony size, colony form, type of polyp growth, tissue color, color mela, color distance between color mela and color mela type and also coral light diameter. So, for example, we have a picture here. We do recoloring and color quantification using Photoshop CS5 and Coral Watch Charge. And we also construct dendrogram uh, using SBSS version 2.1 and conduct independent t test to determine the difference within the data. So, this is the hypothesis for coralite diameter and coralite distance. This is the result of our recoloring uh, picture without any bluish uh, color in our picture. And this is uh, the result of our mor uh, observation on morphological features of all documented sample. This is the dendrogram. This dendrogram shows a three main cluster consists of 13 different clot uh, as we can see that there is two clot clot 11 and 13 uh, that form terminal taxon and this is the independent t test all the tests prove a uh, significant difference within the data 
So the cloud variation with an echinopor lambda population in Lombok waters is greater than variation in coral species from other places. As we can see here, we have a 13 cloud found based on morphological analysis compared to other coral species from other places. We also found that the eastern population is more varied compared to the western counterpart. Here we found only two clots that consist or belong to western population. It truly belong to western population. And we found that the eastern population, the GPA2 and the GPA3, form terminal taxon. It is indicate that there is a possible greater variety of echinoporolamylosa uh, in eastern population. We also found that uh, the eastern population have a bigger coral light and bigger space between uh, coral light and is correlated with uh, environmental uh, stressor, low environmental stressor and larger pre prey and also more uh, clear water. Less variation in western population could be caused by high stress of environmental factor, leaving only adapted coral to survive and meaning less variation on morphology. We also found that uh, Echinopora lamellosa appears in various color. This color indicates various type and concentration of symbion within their tissue based on Siebeck and Marshall 2008. This founding also supported by Bakhtiar et al. 2019 that found that Echinopor lamellosa are able to host multiple clot of symbion. Far from previously known that this species of coral only able to host clot C symbion. This study also the first study documented the encrusting Echinopor lamellosa and the bifacial one. Fair on 2000 before previously documented the Folius laminar and tubular type of Echinopor lamellosa, where the tubular type colony occurs in Great Barrier Reef, Australia. So there is an encrusting and bifacial lamello A lamellosa we found here, as you can see in the picture. The variation in Echinopor lamellosa are filled by morphological data need to be supported by molecular data. For example, Vijayanti uh, et al. 2018 found that Acropora hyacinthus corals have a very high variation within the colony based on molecular analysis. So it could be potential to uncover whether Echinopora lamellosa in Lombok waters truly have high variation or just kind of plasticity due to environmental stress and still have the typical haplotype within their colony. The evidence supported by genetic analysis is important to understand the geographical range of intraspecific morphological variation of Echinopora lamellosa. So in conclusion, there is a high variation among population of coral Echinopora lamellosa from Lombok waters based on their morphological features. We also found, found that population is, consists of 13 clots which found three big clusters. There are two terminal taxa indicate that there is a possible greater variety of this species of coral in nature. We also found that the eastern population of this coral is more varied compared to the western population and it could be influenced by environmental factors. Further analysis on variation and support by molecular data is important to understand the geographical range of intraspecific morphological variation of this species of coral. We would like to uh, say acknowledgement. This research is supported by user through uh, SHARA program, CCR and BioCore. Thanks to Dr. Imam Bakhtiar, who provide the opportunity to conduct this research through funding and data providing of SHARA CCR and BioCore program. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.